Today we're going to look at unconscious bias in the workplace, in recruitment, retention, promotion, even the allocation of work. Unconscious bias is at play. Let's look at recruitment, for example. You might allow your biases to influence your decisions based upon how somebody looks, how they sound, their ethnicity, their disability, their gender, their sexuality. What you should be focused on is their talent, their ability. What is it that they can offer your company? Marshall eLearning has been working with a range of companies, such as the Royal Mail, the NHS, even Oxford University. We've been working with companies up and down the country and around the world, specifically on unconscious bias. Our product is unique. It's best both. It's designed specifically with you in mind. It will enable your employees to become aware of what unconscious bias is and why it matters. The differences between bias, prejudice and stereotyping. How unconscious bias affects decision making in activities such as recruitment, people development, performance management, leadership and marketing. Practical ways to challenge our own biases, to consciously break habits and to do things differently. If you're already familiar with unconscious bias, there are also exercises designed to further develop you, including sections on implicit association, affinity bias, and the unconscious organization, and the impact that it has on their decision-making and behaviors. It's totally interactive Please do get in touch about how we can enable you to be unconscious bias aware.